Hello everyone, welcome to Wild Air Sports. These are our 2022 Abs Cape Epic pre-race chats where we're gonna link up with a few of the, the hot teams ahead of the 2022 event. It's looking to be a big one. The course is grueling. My legs are, in, are just crying for you guys. <laughs> with Candice Lil here, or Lil Candice, if you prefer her rapper name. Yeah. And Mariska <laughs> Strauss of the Faces Roller Team. Ladies, how are the nerves? It's coming on. Yeah, I wouldn't say we're nervous. I think we're just more ready to get going. Awesome. You know, like it, it becomes this whole long process and weeks and weeks, and then eventually you just say, okay, you know what? Like I'm as ready as we're gonna be, or we're as ready as we're gonna be, and it must just come now. Just execute. Yeah, now. we just we just wanna go. Yeah. We've well, come off a good result at last year's event, um, yeah. which was your first epic together as a team. Let's talk a little bit about how this partnership came to be. You both have raced against each other in largely in cross country before. Um, and so a bit of rivalry there. How did the, where was the spark to, to get the team together? Yeah, so I approached Candice, what's it, two or three years ago now. Um, Is it usually the stronger or the weaker rider that uh, approaches the... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're like so closely matched. That's I think the best part about it. Um, I just, well, I know I've been racing against Candice for what feels like decades, probably as decades. Um, and yeah, I just felt like we can be such a great partnership and it's, it's, it was so true. Um, we just dealt so well together and because we know each other's strengths and weaknesses so well, um, instead of using it against each <laughs> yeah, other, we can actually use work it. together. Yeah, yeah. use it to, to excel and be the best team, hopefully, this year. Well, on, uh, on the good tracks, I think, I'd say with that. What were some of the, the weaknesses and as a team and maybe difficulties that you had to work through? Well, a big standout one is This is that exciting. <laughs> the most obvious one is that we weren't actually very good friends before this. Um, very not in a bad way, but let's just say, yeah, years and years of rivalry um, and racing against each other. And yeah, like Mariska and I, as much as we're similar and well matched on the bike, our personalities are really different. Um, and I think for some other reason, we used to clash because of that. <laughs> Um, but now, yeah, we've reached a level of maturity and I think to be able to celebrate those different strengths and weaknesses and different personalities instead of just hating on it, yeah. <laughs> um, it's been really powerful actually. I mean, to, to race effectively together, you really are, um, you're enduring quite a lot and that can bond to, to people for sure. So I think that definitely, you know, definitely makes sense. So you've had to take down the Mariska poster in your room that you were throwing darts at. <laughs> <and> the <laughs> Yo, that escalated! <laughs> Yeah, no, so I, I really think y you're right. I mean, when you race as a team and you go through all the ups and downs, um, which we have actually had quite a bit of in our few race stage races that we've done together, um, and we've really had to like pull it together um, and work under pressure, and we've managed to do so really well, um, and it forms a good bond. So, yeah, we're ready for anything. No, it has been awesome to watch that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you guys are, it doesn't seem like you wouldn't have been <laughs> made before. And <laughs> you wouldn't say that, hey? You wouldn't say that. Like Candice would, but you, <laughs> <laughs> other people might not. No, oh, man. <laughs> I think Mariska agrees with me. What yeah, would you say, like coming through that, that your strengths as a, as a team are? Because you're certainly both very talented on the bike, of course. Yeah, I think just being so closely matched in every sense and just, well, knowing each other, it's... I'd, mm. Well, at points we don't actually even have to talk to each other. I just know Candice will be there. Um, and it's, it's so nice going through a single track or attacking and knowing your partner is going to be right by your side um yeah it's it's one of the frustrating parts about racing if you're not well matched as a team yeah yeah and we're definitely well matched as a team and the, just the whole setup around us um not just for from us but the entire setup from the nutrition the physio manager everyone involved it the team just gels really nicely together and the whole atmosphere is yeah. is positive and exciting and everybody's there for us so it really just works. Brilliant. Well, it came together for a, a really good race at last year's Epic 2021. Nice. You quite comfortably took the, the All African uh, jersey in the ladies' race. And the, I mean, we had a really dominant uh, combination with Sina Frey um, and Laura Stigger. And you guys took them to the line on one of the <laughs> sprints. Couldn't quite pip it, but there yeah, was that definitely was some. That was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> we we, we own these things. <laughs> yeah. So it's. Your first epic racing together was, was then in 2021. You'd done Tankwa in 2020, prepping for that. 
um, yeah, I think the, the, the combination city certainly came together quite strong. Were there any, any lessons learned in that first epic that you might be carrying into this year's event? Absolutely. A lot. Yeah, so, I mean, so many. Where um, do we begin? <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing. I mean, when you, in, in 2021, um, October, when the epic was, we hadn't actually raced together since Tonkwa 2020 because of everything that the world went through <laughs> in that time. Um, so we actually came in fairly unprepared. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, sometimes these things have to just be learned through experience. And I think, yeah, especially the first few days, we had a really rocky time. And yeah, in a figurative and literal <laughs> sense, let's say. Um, but I think, yeah, knowing how to, to navigate that um, and how we actually pulled through in the end was great. But I mean, obviously, we're going to try and not have that happen yes, again. Yeah. And we want to. Yeah. Um, and, and we realized, Start strong like, from the yeah, we realized what we did wrong um, and, and how it turned out that we were crashing and you know, puncturing and things. Um, and we, you know, we've learned to fix that. I mean, that's uh, yeah, it's one thing to race, but to take those little failures and, yeah. and convert those into lessons and, and actually make you stronger is yeah, yeah. the mark of a, of a proper athlete, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I would say now because we've done that Cape Epic and um, Tanqua now together, we have a good chunk of racing together going into the epic which is really nice mm. so we we in sync awesome even to this uh interview we were both running exactly 15 minutes late so <laughs> exactly, it's like yeah. you know well, i got to stop and have a nice goji berry <laughs> smoothie on uh, on long street so i'm not complaining <laughs> feel well fueled i can yeah, take on the epic perfect. no problem easy guys so our yeah pleasure, Jason. <laughs> for coming in it's our pleasure oh uh, thank you thank you so much no appreciate mentioned. it so you had it was a bit of a close tussle between robin and ariane they yeah. a bit of i wouldn't say you weren't trading stage wins because cena and laura were very dominant there but the the battle for second which you two eventually came out on top of <laughs> as certainly the stronger team um was pretty pretty good how was that from in the saddle well after figuring how to stay on the bike it, it became a bit easier <laughs> <laughs> yeah lesson number one <laughs> lesson stay on the bike one. it's a good one yeah exactly um no it's i mean there's so many things that play a role in epic um and <laughs> yeah there's a lot that can happen and we saw that last year as well so that's i think that's just the thing with epic you need to be consistent and you need to work well together yeah. consistently so, so yeah. teamwork really yeah. does make the dream work so. it can be difficult in those situations where one rider's crashed or one rider's punctured to like get irritated at that person for you can't messing up yeah like that's the temptation yeah, and no, that exactly. can that can really wreck the race but but yeah coming together as a, as a team to solve yeah. those issues yeah yeah i think a large part of it is also, and yeah, now we know, um, and we knew it last year as well, we handled it really well. But like even now to be preparing, okay, this is how we want the race to go. If it doesn't, we are not giving up. Mm -hmm. Like we are not, you just get your head around everything that could possibly happen and decide what you're gonna do like in that moment. Um, and if you've worked through that before, you face the moment and yeah, you just keep going, keep fighting, because literally, the Cape Epic is special like that. Like anything can happen oh, to anyone it's else. Such a long distance, such technical yeah. terrain. Like it's if so physically demanding. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. there's, yeah, anything can happen to you, but anything can happen to your competitors Precisely. as well. Yeah. My dad always told us, like as young kids, like you can paint on the bike, at least that way you're moving forward. It sounds very harsh. <laughs> but Otherwise, you're just sitting on the couch in pain. <laughs> exactly. You could have been in pain either way, so you might as well be moving be forward. Moving forward while you did. I think those are some good words to, to live by, no, at least exactly. race by. That's um, true. <laughs> but yeah, that, I think that certainly speaks to the the preparation for an event like this goes so far beyond just the physical preparation. It really is sure. mental, uh, having that mental fortitude, uh, being ready to deal with, with the curveballs exactly. on the fly. Yeah. So and there's a lot of them in Epic. <laughs> yeah, all the, the race of curveballs. Yeah, doesn't basically. quite ring, but we'll go, with it. we'll go with it. So coming into 2022, you've got another successful Tankwa um, under the belt. How was it out there in the, in the Koa Boka felt? Yeah, it was lucky. We had a we had a good time. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, yeah, there wasn't a, a huge amount of competition. Yeah, the racing wasn't very close. Yeah. Of, yeah. And yeah, also just the ladies' numbers, we would have wanted to see more. Mm. Um, but yeah, Mariska and I decided to just take it as basically a, a training camp for the FA. Fair enough. Um, and to yeah, to get in sync, to test things out. Um, and yeah, like even there, like my nutrition strategy failed me one day and I went too hard and I blew. So you're learning All lessons, lessons like learned, even, yeah. Yeah, even um, up until 
yeah, I guess a month or two before Cape FX. So hopefully, yeah, we have learned all that. But yeah, races like Tanko Trek are excellent to, to be able to prepare us. Amazing. Mariska, you had a couple uh, big days out on the bike as well, while Candice was on holiday. <laughs> what a holiday, but... <laughs> <laughs> At Aquas Extreme, third place, and yeah. Mbuka Big Five, which is a monster of a day on the bike. You, you came away with a win there. Yeah, no, it was a good couple of days. Um, but I hope you were well rested, Candice. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I was doing this other six-day event. <laughs> I wasn't actually on holiday. But were you racing? I was doing Transcape, yeah. but I was racing semi. Okay, yeah, and Candice is representing this week in a cycle tour, and I'm not, so I mean... We, we good, we got an understanding, yeah. Jason. Don't try and Balance. get between us. I'm not yet. trying no, to get no, between no. you. I'm helping you sort these things out, just in case they fester. No, yeah, yeah I mean, I haven't done Attic West in probably five or six years, and I was like, I'm never coming back here. For good reason. <laughs> it's, it's hardcore. Um, and, sure. yeah, this year when I saw Attic West, and I actually I saw, checked out the, pro uh, the preview for Cape Epic, and I was like, well... Probably good preparation. Yeah, um, fair enough. So decided to do the trek up to Outswing, and yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did it. It was extreme conditions. It was really insane. Um, it was 40, 40 degrees. I think it was like on 50. Average or it was like yeah. 52 by 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh. We started at 6:30, and it was already 34 or something. So it was really extreme conditions. Mm. Um, but I mean, if you don't put yourself in those conditions, you're oh. never going to know how to. How to respond and no, how heat to adaptation is, yeah. is very important. Yeah. Everything so probably feels cool for you after that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, it's only 45 degrees. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Might bring a jersey. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is what happens when you go to Europe and you're like 16 degrees and you're like freezing. freezing. And yeah. All the Europeans are like, geez, you're going to catch a tan now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but no, it was, an, it was a really incredible event, but it's so early in the season i really just took it as training um so just tried to race a consistent race and finish strong that was my strategy and yeah i think it was the first i think was i finished where i was like not completely destroyed at the finish. <laughs> yeah. so i can no, walk to the car at least yeah exactly <laughs> exactly i can still walk after the finish line um so now i'm really happy with how that went and then Mbuka came up and i was a obviously part of Liv and yes, yeah. Liv and Giants involved Going there, so there, I was yeah. like, well, need to kind of represent <laughs> here. Um, and again, it's also great training for Epic, so kind of oh. rip the plaster off. I think it's day two of uh, the 2022, it looks like a similar kind of profile. It it's it's 2,900 meters of climbing. Yeah, something, something like yeah. that. I don't remember which day it is, yeah. I okay, think it's so day two, or day one. There, there the is a day where yeah. I said, actually, this is... Pretty much like in Bucharest. So it had the five basically. wheels underneath the root profile, yeah. which means yeah. pain. It means proper. And suffering. Yeah. Well, on that, the form is looking good, uh, certainly this year. And you, you said you, you've learned some lessons from 2021. Coming into 2022, obviously, Epic changes the route every year and um, keep things fresh and, and painful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? <laughs> Starting at Lawrenceford. And distance is a little bit longer than last year overall yeah. it's like 680 odd kilometers now and there's an extra 2,000 meters of climbing on last year's route it's taken up to 16,900 yeah i, think. I was yeah. going to say yeah. 17 yeah. this is how do you feel about that excited yeah okay i think it's, it's i think attitude. it's great yeah i think um last year wasn't hard enough whoa <laughs> oh. 12 o'clock in the city ball in case there anyone was go. wondering <laughs> No, look, I think it, it is going to be a, a very, a very long and tough race. Um, and I think, yeah, it requires proper strategic work. Um, you know, you can't just think you're going to go out on a stage of over 100 Ks, almost 120 Ks and heat and all these things without like really knowing, okay, when are we drinking? When are we eating? How are we approaching this? Um, so I think that comes into play a lot on like the longer stages. Mm. Um, where there can be like a major fall off if you don't stay on top of those things. Um, but yeah, I think the riding is going to be stunning. Not a lot of people have done like a full loop in Lawrenceford um, and Grayton always has amazing trails. And then obviously Stellenbosch is like kind of a mountain bike mecca. 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 Yeah, oh, yeah. Like the community is all going to be there. So hopefully at the end of the week, we'll get all the support. Some fierce, support fierce to get, you, fierce. get you through to the finish. Yeah, okay. so I think it's going to be good. Have you, so the 
the route spends quite a bit of time in Grayton this year after, after a couple of days at Lawrenceford. Are you familiar with the trails out, out that side? We actually went and checked it out last week. Okay, so good stuff. Checked out some trails. nice and fresh, fresh in, in our the brains. Brain. <laughs> nice. um, yeah. No, it's actually, it's, it's going to be super stunning. We did most of the, the transfer stage actually okay, back great. to Stellenbosch and I think I think it's hands down one of my favorite strong first stages. Yeah, okay, um, amazing. Like it's always tricky with the Tron first stages to make it fun and interesting, but I think that is just, it's just so stunning. They've done a good job on that one. I think so the photographers amazing. are going to have a great time. We're not going to be looking <laughs> too much at the views, but yes. Yeah, that's the thing when you're racing and yeah. head down, you miss if, out. If someone <laughs> speaks about the views, oh, it was so stunning out there. Like we were riding through an amazing place. I'm like, you were not riding. It's funny, yeah, and look at the photos afterwards. After <laughs> exactly. You're like, wow, exactly. we really rode yeah, through some we amazing there. places. <laughs> I'd love to ride We did to get to enjoy it this time around, but yeah. Come Fantastic. next week, no. it, it'll be a bit different. Are there any uh, sections of this year's route that you're not very familiar with, which you may be a bit uncertain about? Um, I would say that climb um, on day one, when we go over from Lawrenceford into Stellenbosch and come back. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, there's a lot of talk about how nasty that climb is and just like hacking yeah, through the bush. Yeah, a <laughs> Yeah, so that's, that's unsure because no one can ride that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I would say we have a fair grip on, on what's going on on the route, um, which I think is a major advantage. All right. In terms of competition, we, Sina and, and Laura Stigger are not, uh, not here this year, but they've got uh, Hayley Batten and Sofia Gomez, who's yeah. the cross country champion of Argentina, I think, yeah. if not marathon champion. So a good specialized contingent. But then we've got Amy Wakefield and Ariane Luti, who just won the and the yes, that looked amazing. It, yeah. looks like it is a stunning yeah. event, I have yeah. to say. And, yeah, Robin and, and, yeah. and Robin's going to be chauffeuring Pauline Fran Prevot on her first epic. And yeah. Hopefully playing nice with her. How's, <laughs> the, how's the feels about the, the competition this year? Whew. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, it's close. It's going to be exciting. Close. It is going to be exciting racing, I think. Um, it's Bring it on. Lit literally. <laughs> it's kind of like our motto. Right? Do you I get mean, excited for a close race? Yes. Yeah. I and I think, think everybody else as well. It's, yes. it's good Certainly. for women cycling yeah. and it's also good for the whole atmosphere in the event. Um, mm. Yeah. I mean, now with the Cape Epic having such amazing coverage um, and like people like Annika Langfall coming in and giving insights and no, knowledge into the women's yeah. race. It really, if the racing is close and exciting, it's just so much better for viewership and media mm. and everything else as well, as Mariska said, for women cycling in general. So we actually want a close race. I think the only people that don't are maybe Darren and Benno. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, guys. They don't want the nerves. Yeah, like. They will just like die for eight days of nervous Brilliant. breakdown. Well, I'll happily let them take, the <laughs> <laughs> take that one and we'll enjoy some exciting competition. Exactly. <laughs> Before we run off, I've got some quick fire questions uh, uh -huh. for you to suffer, suffer through. Well, lastly, what, what section of the route are you most looking forward to? You spoke quite a bit about the Stellies yeah. section. Yeah, Stellies. Actually, I'm just super excited about yeah. Lawrenceford. I don't, uh, they're, yeah. they're doing a lot of really good work at Lawrenceford. Yeah, yeah. Lawrenceford is... It's really, really cool. Yeah. My dad's built some new trails there, there as well. So awesome. they've, yeah. they've really put in the work. And I mean, it's, it's a place that not a lot of people get to ride. Um, mm. And yeah, they've just got breathtaking views and yeah. trails and no, just everything. Awesome. Yeah. It's, it's quite exclusive. And the trails there are, are nice and flowy and fun. Mm. You know, like yeah, often we came down there at the end of Wines to yeah. Wales and it was a proper good time. Yeah, yeah, often in the epic it's just like rugged, rough, and you're always having yeah. to watch out for punctures. Yes, of Fontaine last year looked yeah. really Yeah, cool. like <laughs> it's a contrasting day one, but mm. it's still yeah. tough. All right, cool. It feels ready. Really? Yeah, I'll bring it. <laughs> You got three seconds to answer. Oh, three seconds. Okay, yeah. cool. Just so we keep it flowing. Redirecting it to you. Both of you. Okay. <gasps> oh my God. Who's the hammer? Who's the nail? We change. <laughs> Yo, that we is alternate. So <laughs> we alternate. Okay, lame answer. What is your team superpower? Communication. Communication. Positivity. Nice. Favorite pre race meal? <gasps> French, French toast. toast. French toast. <laughs> Yo, I'm coming to hang out with you guys. This yes, is great. I got that one. Who's leading in the single tracks? Mariska. Nice. Who pushes a harder gear? Me. Candace. There we go. Nice. Own it. Least likely to say that they're going to pop. Who's got Ooh. the poker face? Candace. <laughs> Me. I would probably say as well. Nice, nice. 
most likely to crash. Nurus! <laughs> <laughs> He's leading in the single track, track and then you're taking, <laughs> taking Candace down with you. <laughs> but it's not happening this year. No. <laughs> Fix that issue. Last one. Who's going bigger at the after party? <gasps> Me. Me. Oh, okay. nice. <laughs> it's a, it's well, a tune in to see that one, ladies. Yeah, <laughs> but Candace, Mariska, it's been great talking with you. Thanks, Very Jess. excited to watch the racing go down this year. I think it is going to be a you know, good ladies race to watch. I mean, yeah. there are more teams than what I just mentioned, but I think those are some <laughs> exactly, of the, yeah. the top ones to, to look out for. Thanks Follow for joining us, everyone. Yeah, yeah stay tuned uh, for the action. Keep on the, the Wild Air Sports channels. And of course, Cape Epic will also be giving some incredible coverage of the racing. Cheers. Cheers, guys.